hello friends in these tutorial series we will be uh, seeing how to use different commands of AutoCAD in AutoCAD 2013 I'll be going in detail of every command uh, which we can use in AutoCAD 2013 so uh, first of all uh, for your help I have done something uh, wherever I click uh, I do the right click you will see a blue ring around the mouse pointer and whenever I do a left click you will see a left uh, you will see a red uh, ring around the pointer so uh, that's how you can keep a track of what I'm doing and uh, so starting off uh, this is how the AutoCAD 2013 window looks like when you click on the AutoCAD 2013 icon on your desktop so uh, uh, the cursor you are seeing uh, the four lines you are seeing on the screen is called the crosshair and uh, uh, when you come in the area where this crosshair appears uh, that is now my mouse pointer is uh, uh, visible uh, now the area where the crosshair is visible is called the workspace so AutoCAD 2013 gives us uh, uh, different workspaces which are listed here uh, that is drafting and annotation 3d basics 3d modeling and AutoCAD classic uh, so for 2d we will be doing everything in AutoCAD classic so make sure that you are in this workspace uh, and uh, the, the different bars that you see here are uh, the different menu bars which you can add or delete so for deleting you can just if you don't need a, um, a menu bar you can just drag it from this end and bring it in the workspace and then click on the crosshair click on the cross oh. uh, so uh, uh, that was about the menu bars uh, the line that you see here is called the command line it is used to uh, give the commands to the uh, to AutoCAD uh, by typing you can actually type the commands or you can uh, choose different tools from here on, on the menu bar on this side and uh, if you don't see a con uh, command uh, command line you can just press control and 9 control plus line so that's the shortcut for uh, making the command line visible or invisible i'll do it for you once control plus 9 here you go and again control plus 9 so the command line can uh, be made visible so uh, the x and y coordinates that you see here axis that you see here are the UCS or the user, user coordinate system and uh, the WCS that you see here uh, is the world coordinate system so this is how the workspace looks like you can uh, go into the different directions of the workspace by panning by the tool pan which, uh, which can be uh, obtained by uh, clicking on this pan button here and just pressing and dragging to go into different uh, different directions of the sheet and you can also get the and to get out of the command you have to press escape so you can also pan by uh, pressing your scroll uh, button on your mouse and then uh, dragging the mouse so this was about pan so uh, now I'll be going into uh, variables and commands so commands are those uh, things uh, those instructions that you give to AutoCAD to do something and uh, variables uh, are those commands which have only two inputs that is 0 or 1 they work in binary so uh, if I uh, I'll show you one variable that is a startup so let's type here startup and enter so the initial value of startup is 0 which can be seen here and I'll now, now do it as 1 and press enter so uh, if I now um, what is the I will tell you what is the use of startup variable so now if I want to uh, open a new document uh, I'll press ctrl and n and uh, ctrl plus n that is the shortcut for a new document so pressing control and end you can see the AutoCAD win window uh, this window asks me whether I want to open AutoCAD in Imperial or metric systems so these systems are uh, 
nothing but uh, the dimensions in the in the drawings will be in feet and inches in imperial system and in metric system it will be in meters and millimeters and all that so i'll be working in working in imperial uh, for now so clicking on imperial and okay you can see uh, i have come here uh, in this new document so if you want uh, uh, what if i uh, make the value of startup zero now let's see Pressing startup okay. entering the value zero. You can see if I want to open a new document, pressing Ctrl plus N, it won't ask me anymore if I want to use the imperial system or the metric system. So that's why uh, the startup command is used, uh, startup variable is used. Okay, so. Uh, I'll cancel this so in uh, always keep the startup uh, variable as one in order to get that window where it asks you to do it do the drawing in imperial or uh, uh, imperial or metric system so that's uh, that's all for the first lecture from the next lecture will be uh, we'll be going into the line command, the zoom command, etc. And we'll be discussing new new variables also throughout the tutorial series. So I won't be going into uh, much detail about saving a file and everything. Uh, yeah, one thing I want to tell you is uh, when you save a drawing, going into save as, uh, you, uh, you, uh, you can uh, see that this is the file type, which is AutoCAD 2013 drawing. So when you save uh, the file in this format, the drawing can only be opened in the 2013 AutoCAD. So uh, if uh, you want to open open it on a different PC which has a different or a lower version of AutoCAD, you can select here R14, which is uh, the lowest version of the uh, lowest uh, file type. Uh, so this file type allows the your your drawing to be opened in any AutoCAD uh, version, uh, any low AutoCAD version. So so that's one thing you can keep in mind. I'll just click cancel. So that's for now. Uh, let's see you in the next lecture. Thank you.